Hello, ho there, neighborino. Um, so first things first, as I'm sure you could probably guess, I am American, but I keep getting this one link about PlayStation VR sales going on for PlayStation India. I guess since I'll I'll, I'll touch on it real quick, like the the main thing is that there's this mega pack. It's got like four or five games on it. Astrobot, Doom, Skyrim, Wipeout, and PlayStation VR Worlds, and of course the system itself, all for 400 bucks. You guys can check that check out that link as well as any other sales going on for PlayStation India in the link below. And then the other thing I wanted to touch on as my real main story was a couple a, a couple games that were released this week. A couple on Tuesday and a couple more on Wednesday. One of the ones on Wednesday was one called Time Warrior Z VR. This one is about traveling through time and space and cutting down things with your swords and your axes and shooting stuff, killing monsters and all that stuff. Evil scientist long since banished by the heroic Time Lord has returned with the power to control any object. It's up to you to put a stop to him using your brains and your brawn. So, this thing released on Wednesday for the Vive, you can find it for like 10 bucks. Assuming you're interested in that, and, you know, that 10 bucks is burning a hole in your pocket. Next up, we got a game called Drone Striker. This one is available on the on all three, actually, the Rift, the Vive, and the PlayStation VR. This one came out on Tuesday for the Rift and the Vive. But we can expect one later on for the PlayStation VR. The description reads, uh, As the leader of Special Forces Unit, you must use your skills and weaponry to put a threat to this menace before it's too late. This one is... Okay, so this one is based more on like, uh, not Apex Legends, obviously, but like something akin to. Uh, can't think. I can't even remember the name now. Like about a titan and a monsters, a giant fifty foot robots. You know that that whole thing. I think I made a video about it once. And of course, as many of you already know, Vacation Simulator came out on Tuesday for the Rift, the Vive, and the PlayStation VR for $30. I don't think I need to give you guys a description of what Vacation Simulator is about, so you guys can enjoy that one at your leisure. Next up, we have Falcon Age. Which was released on Tuesday for just the PlayStation VR for $20. And this one is based around working with the birds and trying to free yourself from this captive island. Trying to escape from this world that we call home. Raise a bird, craft objects, hunt, and of course, fight. Because, you know, what, ma what game anymore would not be complete without fighting? Even Minecraft had some fighting. And the last one is a game called Tomb Slayer. As I'm sure you could probably guess, this one is not a direct direct ripoff of Tomb Raider. Uh, this one did, however, come out on Wednesday for just the Rift for $10. But it, it does follow the same kind of premise as Tomb Raider does. Where you're going through ancient Egyptian tombs and trying to go trying to find all their treasures with futuristic weapons like guns. And you try to manipulate the bullet speed and power and damage and the entire thing is like wave based. So, you know. Try to survive or die. I, I don't know. Do what you do. 
Okay, so this next story is a lot smaller than the ones I'm used to covering, but still all the more relevant. So, one of the game developers who's writing a game for the Oculus Quest, which is going to be released on Sunday, has released a video about optimizing your optimizing the tools necessary for creating a good quality game in either VR or mobile VR, whatever you want to say. He has released a video that goes over all the tools and the strategies necessary in order to make a good VR game. So be sure to check that out in the description below. This next story is probably the only wholesome one in the entire video. So there is a developer called Filament Games who's, who is working, currently working on a game called Roboco. So the, the gist of Roboco is that you will essentially be building these robots either for campaign missions or in a sandbox or, you know, general exploration. Uh, so what this game is supposed to be centered around learning more about robots and technology and stuff but by the looks of it this is not the only educational game that Fil filament games has created after searching around other websites they've got some for for grammar english math other science stuff and i think i saw one on there for the bill of rights too so not the only one that they've got but the each of them costs some ownership fee of like five six dollars per account anyway they got build a bear they got build a robot workshop coming out in the process of being worked on, uh, you guys can check out the link below, and let's move on. Okay, we're going straight from wholesome to the opposite end of the spectrum. So, and th this one, this one just made me laugh when I read it. So, every time I go through Japanese culture, I find the entire thing rather strange. So, there is a YouTube star, and I, I'm not even sure if I can call her that, because she's not even real. She's got her, a YouTube channel, but she herself does not exist. Uh, this one is, is about YouTuber Note Takahana, or by fans is Note Mama, has 33,000 subs. And she's an anime character. You know, beware the weebs and weeaboos and beware the comments. That you guys can have that in the comments below. Anyway. But that that's not even the strangest part. The strangest part is that there was a crowdfunding campaign where someone could be breastfed by her and uh this <laughs> so this this thing was priced at 1 million yen or about 7000 pounds or roughly 9 to 10000 dollars i'm not really sure what the conversion rate is but will is let, let's see what that is 6850 pounds to yeah about nine thousand dollars and one customer who is already paid and if it doesn't get any stranger it has to be done in public around a crowd of adoring fans <laughs> and if you want you can have the experience at home so, yeah, if, if th this it, entire experience, personally, just, just it, honestly, it just makes, makes me laugh, if you couldn't already tell. 
it the entire thing is just that the entire idea is flippin' laughable. But thankfully, I, I guess the entire thing is intentioned to to create a three dimensional model of Nate Mama rather than the 2D one that she currently has. So I, I guess they're using it for something constructive, I guess. And the final story of the night is that a game called Paper Beasts is scheduled to be released later this year. No exact release date was released. However, that game is still scheduled to be it is still scheduled to be ported to the PlayStation VR later this year. We can expect more news about that, well, later. And I believe that's about a good way to wrap up the night. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.